I see a lot of people always asking about their palms, especially their Trachycarpus fortunae, or any of your Trachycarpus really, if they're male or female. And to be honest, it's very easy to know once you see the flowers. So this one, there's three in here actually, is my earliest flowering ones. These ones always flower first. I think it's just because of the position. I'm trying to get out of the sun here. And so male flowers, are very dense and have um, a yellow to a gold coloration. So this is a large male. Flowers for me just about every year. And when we get in here, the other two in here are both male as well. Now take a look. Here's the spent pollen or the little flowers that have fallen off. And with the males, what you can do is you can actually tap them. Let's try it out. And you'll see a lot of times you can actually see the pollen coming out. So this guy here is a male. The biggest one is a male. And the other one right there is also a male. So that's three. Oh, I'm getting ahead of the flowers. That's three male palms. Here's a look at a female palm. So the males tend to flower before the females. And when the females flower, the flowers tend to be smaller. They have a pale green coloration. And as you can see, they're not nearly as dense. They're more spread out, more sparse. So this is the second year that this one has flowered. When you tap them, nothing happens. So it's actually got quite a few flowers. Last year I had two, uh, some small ones. As they flower more, they, they produce bigger and bigger flower bunches. So that is a look at a female. Another cluster of three palms. Uh, this one on the left here has never flowered for me. Uh, this one has flowered before, so this is a male. As you can see, it's only got the one flower stalk. When they're smaller, they don't tend to produce a lot of flowers. It comes with age. And if we get in here, this one's a little bit more robust, the palm, and there's a couple more, so that's two more males. So in my front yard, I have six that flower. Five male, one female. Here we are in my backyard with the stretched out tracky. This one flowered for the first time last year and uh, it's flowering pretty well this year. Another male across the way here. Yet another male with those golden flowers. We hop down, we can get in closer. And if you notice, they, well, they do tend to get weighed down a bit. The males as well as the females have more of that upright growth. All right, there's, here's one that's flowering for the very first time. Another male. You can see it only has a couple of small black luster flower clusters. And right beside it is another male. Uh, second or third year for this one. This one tends to have a little bit paler colored flowers. So as you can, you're probably getting a good idea of the trend that's going on here. A little tough to see. These two palms are both flowering for the first time this year. So the one just straight ahead, another male. One to the left here. It's hard to get in there, but... Um, from what I'm seeing, it's another male, very, just one or two little flower stalks. And then over here, we have two more that are flowering for the first time. Um, so this one, it's kind of anemic looking flowers. If I can find them again, I think that's a male. And this one 
is a female. You can see how they're being, especially on the left there, they're being held upright. Not as many flowers, kind of a paler color. I know it's tough to see. So that is another three males and one female. Continuing the trend. When we work our way around here, uh, second year of flowering on this particular palm. So it doesn't have flowers all the way around. They're just kind of more on the front here. Another male, gold color, very thick flowers, uh, lots of them tightly packed. And up there is a female, number two. And this is... I think this might be the third year, but this is the first time it's actually put out that many flowers, quite a few flowers. It's about as far as I can get zoomed in. It's well above my head, so it's kind of hard to reach, but you can see the pale, it, like it's, it's a yellowish green, we'll call it. It's not quite green, but it's definitely not this golden color. And very spread out flowers and more upright, so. There you go, guys. That's how it goes. And I guess I'll have to put up the, the total um, of how many males versus females I have. I, I know I have two females, males. I, I, I don't know, maybe 10. So we'll pop that up and we'll see if you guys have the same luck or the same experience that there tend to be more males than females. Thanks for watching.